Hello, Lord, and welcome back to more replay review when rewatching with more of it. Welcome to we're gonna be doing Z a Z game, which is just like random games that are always made on by web. And is my neighborhood is my neighbor now? We're gonna be doing on that map. I don't care for a lot of these names, but whatever. I am playing the best girl Lash. It's my favorite. Oh, I can switch the size of that. Cool. Put it back. At least my favorite. Back over to Gray Sky. There we go. These are both my favorite COs. I love Lash and I love Rachel. These are my favorite COs. This is a sad matchup for me to see. Anyways, Lash, I went over this character a bunch. I could, I actually have a unit, I actually have an overview done for Lash, but I don't have it. the rest of them done yet, so I don't want to do it. Anyways, plus 10 attack per drain star, normal power, not crazy worth it. My, becomes one, everything becomes one, you become Sturm movement for a day. Your level two is Sturm movement for a day, and you also get the double terrain stars, which doubles your attack and defense. Good to know. Rachel isn't super great her day to day. She gets plus one HP back under pairs, which is pretty nice. Uh, her normal power sets her luck damage to like plus like 40 or something. Nothing super great, but can be used for if you're going to do a lot of a push. Main thing you want to use is her super power, which is just slap the button. Drop down three missiles that do three HP of damage to everything in there. Inventory value and HP damage of the three missiles that they go they target for. All right, let's begin. Build your inventory. This is a pretty small map, actually, looking at it. Moving inventory forward. Black boat, I'm moving out. Just to get it right over on the city immediately, which isn't too bad. Do do do. Both of us going for the airports right away. Not a bad option. Well, they go for that immediate income, which is kind of interesting. Both are fairly immediate income, but I can also drop this guy off here. You can go bop bop boop. Move down there. Early income, more infantry coming out. I'm trying to figure out what I want to use in Blackboard. I forgot when this match actually took place. It was, I think it was an older match because I don't remember this like at all. I just quickly skimmed the results to see what was happening. Bunch of captures, not too bad. Moving my units up. Do, do, do. They're getting some contested property already, which I'm not a huge fan of, which this is definitely not a good thing for me right now. I need to get some units out here. I need to get better at getting the contested property a lot faster. That's always been a thing I've had weaknesses with. It's my capture game's always been weak, I've noticed. You know what I mentioned about my unit doing? He didn't do that. He went up, he just said, ah, I'm gonna go out this way. Fair enough, I guess, but you're leaving some free income over there on the table when it, that's not the best, I guess it makes sense why you should go to the left first because then you start going out the contest properties. A little faster and move your secondary unit over there because your black boat's not going to need to refill for a little while anyways. Because really that's all that harbor's super doing. They got a tank already, not too bad. I can afford to tank this turn, but do I afford to tank this turn? Am I able to afford it? I'm just kind of blah, 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 wording right now. Sorry, I'm just Anti-air? Anti-air. I mean, I guess, because there's like this... But there's a fucking tank over here. Anti-air? Oh, hey, the new TikTok went out. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's 2 o'clock. My other replay... My actual other advance was replay review. I recorded it also. One of them I did actually went out right now, actually. Huh? So I guess if y'all want to go see more Advance Wars stuff, you can go check that out right after this stream. Because <laughs> those go up every Wednesday on the channel, an Advance Wars related thing, or Borg Group related thing. So they're going for both Com Towers. I fucked up really bad right there. Because I would like some uh, Com Tower power, but I don't have anything over there to capture. So I'm already seeing I just really messed up my early game here is kind of the problem with this match. Which means I need to work with that move planner a little better. Because at this point I didn't even know about the move planner. Yeah, I even have to drop my cap to stop that. To like fully stop that, but... It's not going to work out very well for me, I don't think. Unfortunately. 
You guys are moving out. Tank's taking a swing. We had already moving over there. Tank infantry, not too bad. A little bit early bopter. Gotta retreat my units because they don't got enough power. Yeah, I see this is definitely a loss. I'm pretty sure I'll lose this. At least I'm saying why, because I really messed up my early game a lot. My early game was super weak here. Four captures, yeah, I'm falling behind in income too. Ugh. Yeah, I pretty much lost that comm tower too early, it really sucks. But of course then, because I was definitely still a newer player even then now, I probably would have still... I'm dumping all my resources in to try to steal that comm tower back. When it's like, hey asshole, there's some captures over here you can grab. You can make the best out of the bad situation, but no. Just throw all your money into trying to get this comm tower. Which is about to be locked anyways. I think it is locked anyways right now. Yeah, it's already locked up. I need to get through that freaking uh, artillery first. Build the mech probably the... At least if I have Blackboard, it's not a bad idea to build a mech. That, uh, that anti-air was a pretty good spot for it. Uh, also, since there's no HQ on the map, the lab's counted HQ. I forgot to mention that. So that's... Uh, you can HQ cap here. You take the lab. And again, still not getting that property. And now they have the forward fronting artil the, uh, artillery. I can swing with my battle copter, but... Eh. And yeah, my HQ is already in risk right now, which isn't good. Take some shots on that artillery. Going in, building a little wall. Finally working on some captures. Tank, tank. Anti air coming in. You just help deal with it because I'm kind of losing over there on the right, anyways, which isn't the best. Take their shots, move their units in, move the black boat in there just to get in the way. Fair enough. I like it. Yeah, tanks are running around well to harass, and now the tanks coming over here to deal with me. Bellcopters have to move out because there's an anti air there. <laughs> I'm gonna spam mechs over there on the right just because, like, okay, this is a weak side thing. I need to do some, get some cost effective engagement, so mech time. Some decent shots, kill the artillery, which is not bad. I did get the artillery dead. So let's see what happens up here, because I'm curious to see if I get any, like, super good plays, which I'm not thinking I do. Not really worth it, because now you're giving the tank a free shot to, from the property. That's going to be a really valuable spot for that tank, even if it is in their own property. But they choose to take down my neck, my mech instead, which makes sense. Taking shots. They can move it over here to the left to give my right side a little bit of break, but I don't think I take advantage of, like, the little bit of the break I have on my right side by building, like, a bigger unit or something to, like, really contest down there. Finally get that property to get anti-air and anti-air violence, and because the anti-air is so low, I figure, let's move my battlecopter out of here. Because I don't think a battlecopter can reach mine. Nope. Over here, I got a pretty decent strike over here on the left force, but here's the problem. Rachel's almost to her power. And that's just... This area over here is just itching to get missiled down. Which I think is going to be too little too late. I think we're going to get shot. <laughs> I'm surprised that anti air even did that much damage, but still not too bad. And covering fire, and I think this is going to hurt. One, two, three. Yeah, all of them are right there in that one spot. There goes my whole push everything i had planned just just throw it away oh like it sucks because i didn't realize she had it till it's way too late and it's like well i can't deal with it now so 
Yep, and then I hit, kill it. Just kill all my units, throw them away, put them in the fire. Build a medium boy. But that's gonna take way too long to get down there. Get a nice shot with my mech, not too bad, I'm happy about that. To at least get a hit with a mech. Move my anti air back, not giving up, but not in the best position, I don't think. Because now I gotta build a new anti air to deal with this. <sighs> yeah, that kinda sucks. Fresh artillery, units are moving out. Cap and healing up. Helicopter infantry mech, not too bad. Yeah, definite problem I had was I bunched up too much versus Rachel, and I also just had a really bad initial capture phase. Yep, and then that pretty much captures my that uh, puts my HQ and tube out of a spot. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get over there to defend it in time. Prime tactics and resign, unfortunately, yeah, was not a very good match. I can definitely tell you the two big problems I did that match, especially was the beginning capture phase was super weak. I should have definitely I definitely need to improve that. It just means I need to take time and just theorycraft the beginning of matches more. And bunching up my units like that, unfortunately, just kind of ended up in a, you got, you just got Rachel to get the fuck, did he Which kind of sucks, but that's life. Alright. <laughs>